Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're exploring another new fantastic release from Argos, Fall of Phaeton, or some like to say uh, Phaeton. Uh, I think the correct pronunciation is Phaeton, but I think Phaeton is correct as well. Now, another creation steeped into Greek mythology, as usual with Argos fragrances. Now, this one definitely has Argos DNA written all over it, and I must say, uh, it is by far my most favorite one from their line. Uh, now, I haven't tried all of their fragrances, and so far I have, I believe, about six of them. Uh, but uh, I must say that I actually prefer this over Triumph of Buckus. Uh, it definitely has some ingredients in it, like oud and leather, that are right up my alley. As you all know, Argos fragrances are known for the highly artistic and hand polished and painted bottles. I don't know if you guys can see this. Very beautiful, very high quality, just the whole packaging, everything. If you're interested, make sure you get on my Instagram and check out the whole unboxing of this beautiful bottle. Uh, just the sleeve that goes over the box, uh, the painting, just spread taking and even this box just the quality of it very high quality very beautiful and i know some people don't care but i think when it comes to uh paying a good amount of money for your fragrances i think the presentation is very important and argos does a phenomenal job when it comes to presentation of their fragrances uh including the actual bottle. Now, um, I believe Fall of Phaeton is the standout translation of visual art into fragrance within the Argos Artist series. It just seamlessly connects with the artwork, feeling like a natural extension of it. I will delve into details, but that's uh, pretty much the simple magic of it. You guys, this is really, really beautiful. Very sexy. God, I love this. This is by far my favorite one from the line. Very beautiful. Uh, now, uh, some reviewers missed the mark, in my opinion, not acknowledging how well the scent aligns with the story. Uh, it's a bright, luxurious, woody leather with sweet touches, an homage uh, to fire's heat and lightning's opulence. Brilliant, really. Uh, despite what some say, it's not a smoky, incense type of a scent, not even close. Now, personally, I would describe it as a mysterious, resinous, with some brightness at the top and a light floral touch, with some uh, sweetness that smooths out the auger wood so that it never goes too animalistic and not too masculine due to the leather cord, but more sophisticated. Now, based on the notes, I thought it would be very strong and not mass-pleasing and uber-masculine type of a fragrance, but it is quite unisex, although masculine-leaning, I must add. Here is the bottle. My name is right down here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Very... Nice of them doing that. Very cool. All the details. Very beautiful. This is insane, you guys. Very sexy, very beautiful. Uh, initially, when I sprayed this, I fell in love with this one. Uh, this one will be a big compliment getter, trust me. Very beautiful, very well executed. It has this dual personality to it. Uh, it has this connoisseur side to it, and also it has this mass pleasing uh, aura to it as well. So it has the best of both worlds in it, which I truly enjoy. Uh, now, Fall of Phaeton uh, kicks off with a burst of bright, fresh, spicy top notes. Think ginger, pink pepper, lemon, bergamot, and cardamom like a lightning strike from Zeus, if you will. Uh, this reflects the initial imagery on the bottle. However, the story goes beyond this point. The combination of ginger, pink pepper, lemon, bergamot, and cardamom often creates a lively and invigorating chord in the top notes 
of fall phaeton. This blend can result in a fresh, citrusy, spicy opening with these zesty and slightly sweet notes of lemon and bergamot complemented by the warmth of ginger and cardamom. Pink pepper adds a subtle, rosy undertone and a touch of spiciness to the overall accord. Together, these ingredients contribute to a vibrant and energetic olfactory experience. But in Fall Phaeton, these top notes or top accords are extremely faint. They're not as pronounced as you would think by reading uh, the uh, notes, uh, the note list. So the core of this creation comes alive right away. Now, due to the fact that labdanum lives in the heart of Fall Phaeton alongside with auger wood and the usage of leather note in the base makes this fragrance very woody and leathery but in a very well-tamed and supple way. Uh, as I said, the leather accord has been tamed very nicely with the help of lavender, tonka bean and the right amount of vanilla. So the labdanum creates a rich, complex, warm, sweet, resinous and slightly leathery odor profile in Fall of Phaeton as the fragrance opens up more. It imparts amber and balsamic facets contributing to a deep ambery and oriental character. The oud on the other hand brings a woody, earthy, resinous, velvety and smooth leathery touch to Fall of Phaeton. The trio of labdanum, oud and leather cord in the base creates this nostalgic, waxy, and leathery distinctive and rich aroma associated with well-maintained leather goods. Now, as we get to the dry down, obviously the fragrance becomes more woody and the leather note becomes more pronounced, but we're not going to talk about the leather cord because we already mentioned how oud, labdanum, and leather, uh, they kind of work with each other. But instead, we're going to talk about uh, vanilla and tonka bean, how they tame this leather cord uh, and oud and almost give the leather this roasted, nutty, somewhat uh, cinnamony sweetness facet, which makes it very interesting and mass pleasing at the same time. Fall of Phaeton is definitely an ambery, leathery, woody, balsamic, warm, spicy, bitter, sweet, with touches of zesty, citrusy, aromatic qualities counterpointed by warm roasted chestnut cinnamon and with somewhat rock rose floral touches, which comes from labdanum and pink pepper. All right, you guys, so that's all I have for Fall of Phaeton by Argos. Uh, again, this one was a love for me on the initial spray. I just fell in love with this one. And uh, it's a great performer. I mean, it's very long lasting, over 10 hours, and it has an enormous sillage. So this one would be a phenomenal scent to go clubbing with. And trust me, you'll get a lot of compliments with this. Um, and I have to say, as I mentioned earlier in the video, this one by far is my uh, most favorite one from the line. Now, I know that in the comment sections when it comes to reviewing Argos fragrances, I've been getting a lot of uh, requests to uh, review the one that's called whatever Lion or Leon. I don't know what the name is but I know I've been getting a lot of requests for that one. Unfortunately, I've been asking for that one, but um, every time I ask for it, they said that they are out of it. So uh, I can't really speak uh, for that one on my behalf yet, but so far this one definitely is my favorite one. And if you guys haven't checked this one out, I would definitely suggest you to get a sample of it and check it out. And that's it, you guys. That's all I have. Thank you so much. And hopefully I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye.